me and Jamie are about to go for a Saturday morning ride. You wanna go for a ride? Huh? You wanna go for a ride? You ready? You wanna go for a ride? I ain't that better. You can actually walk around and do stuff. Yeah. And you got a chair. Cook stove. <laughs> so it's Sunday morning. I think it's about 8 o'clock. It's a beautiful day. So, yeah, I'm trying to get more practice in with this little cook stove and learn how to cook on it. And there's reasons why I'm doing this. I don't have to. But I, it's a skill set that I don't have. And I find it could quite possibly in the very near future be a very valuable skill set to have everybody else gotta have propane or gas or electric well that one didn't get a whole lot of heat but I can get it all figured out but anyway you know a lot of people were just they just don't know how to do things and I don't I don't like being that guy, you know what I mean? Let's get back here. Let's get some more heat going on. It always gets a lot hotter back here than it does up front, but she's she's chooching man. Putting off that heat. It's about 41 degrees outside, and uh I suspect very very soon it this stove is gonna make it fairly intolerable in this kitchen if it hit 60 degrees today so yesterday was eggs today is sausage and I've been struggling with the sausage um, I didn't realize how much more heat I needed to get out of the stove before I could do something like fry again that's why you do things to learn you know uh, you can watch all the YouTube videos that you want you can read all the books you want but unless you actually do it and get that experience, there's really no, you can't replace the experience because you learn so much. And there could be a reason in the future uh, that I could use these skills, which I'm not going to get in a lot more detail about that. But uh, So, there's not really been a whole lot going on. Just been working a lot. Uh, making plans for the future. I had a good good Friday night with some friends that came down. The The lake season has started. First of March is when people start coming back in and getting their lake places ready and doing all the chores. And did, a little, did a little drinking Friday night. Me and uh, Maker's Mark got well acquainted. That was fun, <laughs> and then went back over and had had a, the best potato soup and chili dinner I'd ever had, and we did a little bit more beer drinking. That was a safe night. Last night was a good night. It was safe and didn't forget where I was. Yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> so, uh, so today's Sunday, and uh, I'm gonna try to get some chores done and do some more thinking. I've been doing a lot of a lot of thinking here lately. Where I want to go in life, what I want to do. Um, you know, if some of you all have, haven't learned already, I change my mind a lot. Um, I'm constantly thinking about new ways of doing things, new experiences, and, and things to do that will help me further my goals. And anymore, I'm kind of question questioning if I want about my goals you know what exactly do I want out of life and there's one constant that's always there is something's pulling me to live more of a I don't want to say off-grid lifestyle but maybe secluded is that the word um there's something that's I, I just want to be in the middle of the woods someplace um, 
Pastor Joe Fox calls it maybe neo pioneering. I don't even know if that's the right word, but I keep thinking all the time that I would just like to be someplace, not have any neighbors that I can see at all or hear, and be in the the middle of a patch of woods and just clear out a space for me, and and just kind of go from there, you know. When our power went out this past little snow that we had. There was something that brought me so much joy about getting out the, the, the gas or the uh, the fuel lanterns, like the old school fuel lanterns, you know, stoking up the fire. It, I don't know, just something about it. You know, living 70 years in the past, you know, no electricity. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's something is is makes me want to experience that more along of a, a full time full time thing uh I, I just don't know what i don't know what the draw is and, and i'm still a boy <laughs> i still like my stuff man i like my cars and, and all that other stuff but something about being in the middle of the woods it's just it's got a hold of me I mean, it always has. Ever since I was a little kid, I used to go into the woods in front of the neighborhood where I used to live and, and build forts. And I would hang out in the woods all day. I remember there was a spot that was nothing but a, a briar thicket. Just just, just gobs and gobs and gobs of briars. I mean, you couldn't see through them. There were so many. And I remember I used to worm my way inside these briars and, and kind of make out mash it down and and just hang out inside these briars all day nobody could see me and i used to just listen to the wind and how quiet it was um you know kind of like a rabbit i guess i don't know uh, it's just something that's always drawn me i used to just walk around the woods for hours and hours and hours <clears throat> and i remember i made this camp i found this big thicket of trees one time and uh, <clears throat> I don't know if it was willow trees or sumac. I don't know what it was, but I got deep in there and I found a really flat rock surface. I mean, it was probably 20 foot in diameter and it had all kinds of leaves and bird poop on it and stuff like that. And I remember making a broom out of some sticks, sweeping it off, and then I found an old skillet someplace around some old barn and uh, I made me a little camp inside this big clump of sticks like whatever i don't know what it was and but the, the top was open and i remember staying out there late on a school night one time and just seeing the stars kind of come in i had a little fire going and i would just stay out there for hours and hours and hours but uh i i don't know what it is something's something's pulling me to do something and i'm trying to figure out what it is but I have to, first things first, whatever my future holds, you know, you got to have money. So I'm trying to come up with ways to keep doing the online thing or improve it to where I can make more money. But yeah, I don't know what's coming on in the future, guys. Something. But uh, right now I'm just working on my skills doing this kind of stuff and uh, just kind of taking it easy i'll have some more trailer stuff coming up this next weekend uh, um, my goal is to have the whole kitchen the walls are done i know it's a tall order for me because i do things incremental incrementally you know um i don't know if i'm going to keep doing drywall drywall shoots a pain in the ass uh, i might just go ahead and throw up some kind of paneling and paint so but yeah that's my goal the bigger goal is before april i guess you could say i want to have a floor i want to have my laminate flooring down the kitchen i want the kitchen basically to be complete you know minus cabinets and all that stuff but that's my goal so anyway folks i'm just making these quick little videos and uh 
seeing how you guys are doing. Let you know what's going on in my world, what's going on in my head. And uh, you never know, I might make another one tomorrow. If you like these kind of videos, let me know. Not too shabby. Smells amazing. You know what? I think I'm going to step this up just a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's happening. Of course, I probably didn't have enough grease for just four pieces of sausage. But we're going to make it happen. Let me, I got some bacon grease over here. Let's get that in there. Oh, yeah. Been saving my bacon grease. Oh yeah, time for a little milk. Now, I'm gonna put some cold milk in here so it's probably gonna make my, my gravy lumpy, but that'd be okay. One thing that I'm learning from cooking on a wood stove is patience and how to regulate temperature. So it's getting thicker. You know, it's uh, still a little runny, but I'll give it another, I guess maybe 10 minutes or so. And this gravy right here is going to be on the money. And I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Check it out. It is starting to look like gravy. You know, this is kind of challenging with one hand. Kind of messy, too. <laughs> Just like being a kid playing. Oh, yeah. Let's get that in there. Tell you what, folks, this is going to be amazing. Just wish I had time to make some biscuits, but I don't. So, I think I'll just pour this over top some white bread and call it a day. One thing I do need to add, though, some good old black pepper. And maybe just a sprinkle of salt. Just look at that. Cool thing about cast iron, I can take it off the stove and that cast iron hold that heat for a minute. Keep this nice and warm while I make me an addition. Oh yeah, there's going to be some egg action. I noticed when I bit into some of my sausage, it was a little pink on the inside still. So give it a little bit more heat. And I'm fairly confident the sausage that I put in my gravy, while it sits there being hot, it'll cook all the way. If not... I guess I'll get worms. You'll get worms. Worms got to have a place to live too, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to get a little bit more heat into this skillet. Throw me some eggs on here. Well, dang it. I wasn't paying close enough attention and my fire ended up getting a cold spot in it. And my eggs kind of stopped cooking. So I had to go back and stoke the fire back up and bring this temperature up. And uh, they're going again. So here we go, folks. My first official meal on the little cook stove the wood burning cook stove <laughs> now the eggs kind of failed uh, i didn't realize i got a cold spot in my heat and i had to go back and stoke it and my eggs slow cooked to completely done i was trying to get them to be a little runny but it's okay uh, so let's try this gravy real quick mm. it's really good really good well folks i didn't intend on this being a cooking video but you know what's guy gonna do <laughs> anyways hope you all like this video please like and subscribe uh if you'd like me to keep doing these kind of videos on this channel instead of just constant trailer videos let me know uh because you know if i don't have a whole lot of stuff going around here on the trailer it's kind of more of a vlog format anyway so anyways i hope you guys have a good weekend I'll see you all later.